Jennifer. And here we are at 8 Models with Gloria B. Wow, it's such a pleasure to have a, such a good celebrity with us today. Gloria B, how you feel for making us company here? Honey, I am extremely happy. I'm happy to be with beautiful ladies, Emma and Jennifer. Um, and it's a pleasure. It is a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me here today. Thank you for coming. Um, so, Gloria B, we would like to know how did you start your career, your passion? How did I start my passion? How did I start my career? Wow, it's such a long story. My The first time, because I never thought I was going to do radio, never, 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 never. Um, I was discovered, and like Justin Bieber was discovered on YouTube. YouTube did not exist back then, but I was discovered in a, in a, in a restaurant. I used to work as a waitress slash as a bartender in a restaurant in New York City called Le Poulet. And I was working one night, you know, I was working one night because being a single mother back then, um, I had to pay bills, you know, so the way I would pay the bills is Monday through Friday I would sell cars and then Saturdays and Sundays I would work as a waitress and as a bartender making extra money. So one day two guys walked in and they were like, oh my God, you sound great and you have a great personality. This was like 17 years ago and you should do radio, you should do radio. And I was like, oh, stop, me radio, you know, because you never thought, yo nunca pensé que iba a ser radio. And um, to make a long story short, I went and I've been working there for 17 years, which is 93.1 Amor. We would also like to know, how did the work went down while working on a magazine and you being the cover of this um, magazine? Well, this magazine that Emma has in her hands um, was a surprise because I came in to take some pictures because I'm doing some new stuff, new projects, and when I came in, Guillermo Albornoz gives me this magazine. I'm like, oh my God, and I loved it. It's beautiful, it really is. Guillermo, I've known Guillermo Albornoz and his wonderful family for years, for about 10 years. We met in 2003, and all my pictures have always been by Guillermo Albornoz. So now here I am in his cover, which I love it. I love it, so wow. thank you very much. That's very nice. And mm -hmm. how does Guillermo and his group treat you every time you come here? You guys treat me good, no. <laughs> Everyone, everyone here. I know Guillermo's sisters for a very long time, and Guillermo, talented, wonderful, wonderful human being. Yes. And you guys are studying too, right? You guys want to do, you want to be in the media. What do you want to be when you sure. grow up? I love to sing. That's my passion. I would love to be a singer when I grow up. I want to know about Emma because I know Emma. I know Emma for a long. How long do I know you? A couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Probably because I, I own a business uh, called You Rock Studios where kids have their birthday party like a star. You know, si quieren ser estrella, los invito a que celebren su cumpleaños en mi negocio que se llama You Rock Studios. Pero yo tuve el placer de conocer a Emma porque no ha ido para uno, ni dos, ni tres, cocinó como cuatro cumpleaños que la han invitado. Y cuando yo la vi aquí, I was like, what are you doing here? So what do you want to be when you grow up? A professional model. You do. That's nice. That's beautiful. And well, you're at the right place. You know you're at the right place. And what's your question for me? Well, people keep on telling me that you're going to Orlando, so I want to know if it's true or not. Oh, and we, we already know who told you, right? Yes, <laughs> yes it is true. It is true. Um, I'm moving to Florida with my family. I I got um, I got a job offer, a very nice job offer in Florida. Where, um, so whenever you want to go Disney, you come see me. You don't go see Mickey, you come see Gloria B, okay? No, <laughs> no Mickey Mouse, Gloria B, no mentira. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I got a job offer in Florida after 17 years. I've been working for SBS, which is 93.1 y Mega 97.9. I've been there for 17 years, and now it's time to start something new, and I'm going to Florida. So I'll be working at a station. You can download the app, okay? Kaku 103, Kaku 103, on your phone, so you can listen to me from here over there, okay? okay. So yes, yeah, so and remember, when you go to Florida, come visit me. I want to know who's your inspiration. My inspiration. Who's your inspiration? My parents. Your parents? Aww. Mommy and Daddy? Aww. What country are you from again? Ecuador. Ecuador, that's right. Lado somos del Ecuador. ¿Tú eres de dónde? Dominican Republic. Dominican, I love it. Um, my inspiration, number one, my three beautiful kids. Alessia, Raymond, and Julian. My life, my world, my everything. Uh, then my grandmother, I never met my grandmother. My grandmother died when my mother was nine years old, but she was a very strong woman. You know, my grandmother, um, back then in 1940, las mujeres eran, you know, de la casa, tranquilas, cocinando, you know, lavando, planchando, haciendo todas esas cosas. Mi abuela, que es paz descanse, she, era una madre soltera de tres niños, um, tenía fincas y, Ella era una mujer emprendedora y luchadora. 
y eso no era muy común en esos tiempos. Normalmente la mujer siempre se quedaba en la casa y el hombre salía a trabajar. Y esa, fue, y esa es todavía mi inspiración, porque yo siempre he dicho que una mujer que si lo pudo hacer en los 1940, hoy en día una mujer en los 2000, 2010, en otro siglo, definitivamente que lo podemos hacer. Así es que, those are my and my mother, my beautiful mother too, because my mother is a very hard working woman. So those are the four people, five people in my life. My three kids, my mother and my grandmother, my, my inspirations. Oh. Mm -hmm. And that's it, guys, you have another one? How's your love life? Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Nobody's ever asked me that. <laughs> wow, how's my love life? Huh? Your father told you to ask me that? No, no just joking. <laughs> my love life. My love life is great. Um, and I'll tell you why. And I'm not only talking about my, my, my partner, my husband, even though we're not married, but he's my husband. He doesn't know him, but we're, we're his, my husband. Um, Diego Alexander, my love life is great, but before my love life, before having a man in your life, you always have to love yourself first, okay? And, and I'll give you this advice as a mother and as a woman, you always have to love yourself first. You first love yourself, and then you can love everyone else. So my love life, when it comes to everything, I'm, I'm very much in love, I'm in love with my family, with what I do, and obviously with the man in my life, which is Diego. So my love life is great. <laughs> what else? <laughs> That's it, okay. <laughs> All right, well, good. And you know, I wish you guys the best. You guys are in great hands with Guillermo Bernos and you know, A modeling. So hopefully I'll see you guys soon on TV, okay? Gloria B, we just wanted you to know that it was a pleasure having you here. And thank you all for watching. This was A News New York. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.